Hello friends, welcome back to Student Blog. Uh, in this Nutanix uh, series of training sessions, uh, we'll be looking at uh, how to create a VLAN uh, in the Nutanix environment. So I'm making a small chunks of videos so that you guys don't get bored. So uh, in our uh, previous video, we we were looking at the we were looking at the home screen uh, about the available four columns here. Uh, so in our previous video like you were able to see here red uh, that is a red warning now it changed to uh, critical now it changed to warning so uh, here like uh, before we create a VM we need to create a uh, storage was we need to create a storage group and also we need to create a network so for that uh, first we will create a uh, we'll create a network for the VM so uh, we need to go to VM and click network uh, so we'll give the network name VLAN 101 and VLAN 101 so uh, regarding this we'll create uh, another VLAN and I will show you what all settings it will have and uh, what we'll do there so VLAN 102 and we'll enable uh, IP man address management so what it is like uh, uh, if you select this VLAN when you create a VM what happens is uh, now the uh, uh, when you enable the pool of IPs uh, uh, so from that pool it will assign the IP DNS everything to the particular uh, virtual machine so we'll give there some um, IP network address dot zero dot zero slash 24 gateway 192.168.0.1 dns 192.168.0.40 dc.com and domain name dc.com so we don't have tftp server and we'll create a pool so 192.168.0.120 starting with 120 192.168.0.130 okay uh, submit so we have created a pool of IPs uh, so we can select override DHCP so if you already have a DHCP uh, which is serving DHCP in your environment if you select this what happens is uh, it will override the DHCP we don't have a DHCP server so that's fine and just click save to save the VLAN so now we have VLANs and uh, next step is to create a storage and then we'll then we'll create a VM. Oh, we already upload ISO. So these are the default created uh, default internal interfaces, uh, which is used by hypervisor back mm, uh, management and all stuff. So these are uh, created when we when we deployed a CVM. So <coughs> for this video, we are fine. I believe. I hope this is informative and. Uh, Please do subscribe and like videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.